so in the last lectures we have discussed transportation problem and we have discussed and we have discussed three methods to find the initial basic feasible solution one is your northwest corner rule one is your least cost entry method and the last was vogel's approximation method i have told you that vogel's approximation method will give you the least cost that means this is less than the cost here will be less than equal to this this will be less than equal to this right so it may happen that if you apply your vogel's approximation and you find the optimal solution the solution which you get from the vogel's approximation that might be the optimal one but you have to do the iteration and you have to check is it optimal or not so just a quick review that we have done if you have any maximization problem that is maximize profit you will convert the transportation problem into minimization then you will check it is unbalanced transportation problem or balanced transportation if it is unbalanced you will make it balanced how you will make it balanced you can add dummy row or dummy column so that it becomes a summation of aij is equal to your summation of bj so suppose here the sum is more that means you have to add dummy column here if sum is more then you have to add dummy column corresponding to that so in today's class we are going to discuss the optimal solution that how we can find the optimal solution of transportation problem earlier the three methods that you have done that is northwest lcm and vogel's approximation these are method just to find the initial basic feasible solution but that are not the optimal one right like if you do simplex iteration hum karte the na pehle wala s1 s2 s3 basic variable le lete the then we perform the iteration in the same way to consider s1 s2 s3 initial basic feasible solution you are applying one of these method is it clear so we are going to discuss find the example find the optimal solution find the optimal solution of given transportation problem to minimize the cost so you have given sources that is s1 s2 and s3 you have sources and you have destination d1 d2 d3 d4 and you have availability and this you have demand over here so the transportation cost here it is 1 this is your 2 3 4 and this cost is 7 4 this is 6 this cost is 3 this is 2 this is 2 this is 5 and this is 7 and the availability is 30 50 35 and the demand is here is 15 30 25 45 and you have to find the optimal solution corresponding to this so now you have to find the optimal solution so for finding the optimal solution you must have applied one of the method either you can apply northwest lcm or vogel's approximation to find the initial basic feasible solution that i have already told you in the previous class so the basic initial basic feasible solution suppose it is given to you that here it is 15 cost right 15 assignment and here it is also 15 there is 5 so the initial basic feasible solution is given to you here it is 10 so
here it is 10 and here it is 25. And here it is 25, 10. So you can notice over here that you have M is the sources that is 3. N is the number of destination that is 4. So you must have M plus N minus 1 as your basic cell. That means you must have 6 cells where there should be an assignment. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. When you will have M plus N minus 1 cells, only then you can start your optimal, optimality condition. Is it clear? Yes or no? So this is the basic which you have done earlier. Initial basic feasible nikal na chahe apne optimal nikal na. Firstly, the problem should be minimization plus balanced. So this was the given problem and it is already minimization and balanced one. So this is the initial basic feasible solution which is given to you. So now we have to find the optimal solution. How we can go from the optimal? We can assign UIs corresponding to rows. And we can assign VJs corresponding to columns. If you remember, when we dual likha tha, UI mene kya liye the? Corresponding to the row column. VJ kya likha tha? Corresponding to your columns. So that means we have considered UI corresponding to rows and VJs corresponding to column. Right? So there you have written that all your XI, UIJ and VJ were unrestricted in sign. Do you remember? Right. So we need to find the values of UI and VJs. How we can find? We can give any value, any variable to any value. But for the simplicity, we can give U1 is equal to 0. It is not necessary that you should give U1 equal to 0. You can give U1 is equal to any real number or you can give any value V2 is equal to real number. You can take any one. Right. But for the simplicity, we always take U1 as equal to 0. Right. If you remember that when we have done simplex iteration, we say for Zj minus Cj, the value of the basic variable is 0. Yada kuch? Hum bolte the that Zj minus Cj will be my 0 corresponding to my basic variables. The same in this case, because we are doing it for the dual operation. So here ui plus vj minus cij will be equal to 0 for basic cells. Right? So that will be ui plus vj that will be equal to your cij. Is it clear? Yes or no? So since you have assumed one value is equal to u1 equal to 0. You can find now all the values u2, u3, v1, v2, v3 and v4 with the help of this relation. You can notice this is my basic cell. Yes or no? Right. So for this basic cell, I will have u1 plus v1 is equal to cij, not the assignment, the cost cij. So that will be equal to 1. U1 is my 0, V1 is 1. So what will we, I will have? V1 is equal to 1. So I have V1 is equal to 1. The similarly here, U1 is equal to 0. This is also my basic cell, right? So I have U1 plus V2 that will be equal to the cost that will be equal to 2. So this is my 0 plus V2 equal to 2. So the value of V2 will be 2. Is it clear? Right. The next is basic cell is this thing. And for this iteration, you have U2 plus V2 that is equal to 6. So U2 is your, U2 is unknown. You know the value of V2 that will be your 2 is equal to 6. U2 will be 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Right. When you will calculate, don't panic if your UI and VJ comes out to be negative because you and UI and VJ are unrestricted in sign. So you can have values of UI and VJ as negative as well, right? So that means the 
or u2 is equal to 4. So this will be your 4. And now for this is also your basic cell. For this basic cell, you have u2 plus v4 is equal to 5. So your u2 is 4, v4 is 5, v4 equal to 5. So that means v4 will be 5 minus 4, that will be 1. So v4 comes out to be your 1. And the last, you have to find the value of u3 and v3. So for this is also a basic cell, right? So for this, what you will have? Your u3 plus v2, that will be equal to 3. And now your value of v3 is known, v2 is known to you, that is your 2. So your u3 is coming out to be 3 minus 2, that is 1. And this is also a basic cell. So that will be your u3 plus v3, that will be equal to your 2. And u3 is, you know, this is 1, v3 is 2, then v3 comes out to be your 1. Is it clear? How you are calculating the values of ui and vjs? Fine. So once you have calculated ui and vjs, what is the next task? Now you have to check optimality. Jo aapka minimum ka cost hota tha when you have simplex iteration. Tab aap kya kehte the aapke zj minus cj. जब तक सारे क्या हो जाते less than equal to zero नहीं आ जाते तब तक आप iteration करते रहते थे means तब आप क्या करते थे most positive को enter करवाते थे यहाँ पे zj minus cj क्या डिनोट कर रहा है ui plus vj minus cij अब basic cells के लिए तो आपका uij plus vj minus cij क्या होगा zero non basic cells के लिए निकालना पड़ेगा ना वहाँ पे जब हमने एंटर करवाना होता था किसी वेरिएबल को हम क्या कहते थे zj minus cj जो जीरो नहीं होते थे उनके अलावा देखते थे राइट दैट डी मोस्ट पॉजिटिव विल वेंटर यही बोलते थे ना मिनिमम के केस में राइट सो हेयर हाउ यू विल कैलकुलेट यू विल कैलकुलेट डी साउथ वेस्ट एंट्रीज फॉर नॉन बेसिक सेल्स You will calculate ui plus vj minus cij for your known basic cells. So this is your known basic cell. Yahan pe aapki assignment hui hui hai? Yes or no? No. So here you will calculate your ui plus vj minus cij. So that will be 0 plus 1 minus 3. That will be your minus 2. Is it clear? This is also non-basic cell. So I will calculate is southwest entries. So here u1 plus v4 0 plus kitni value hai here it is 1 plus minus 4 that will be your minus 3. Is it clear? Here this is also a non-basic cell. Here there is no assignment. 4 plus 1, 5, 5 minus 7, that will be your minus 2. Here 4 plus 1, 5, 5 minus 2, that will be your 3. This is your basic cell. Aap iske liye nahi nikaloge. This is your known basic cell because there is no assignment. 1 plus 1, 2, 2 minus 4, that is your minus 2. And this is also a non-basic cell because there is no entry. 1 plus 1, 2 minus 7, that is your minus 5. Waha pe aap zj minus cj kab stop karte the? Minimum ke case ke liye. Jab aap ke saare less than equal to 0 ho jate the zj minus cj. That means here you will stop. Agar aap ki saari southwest entries negative ya 0 a jayengi. Then the obtained solution is the optimal one. Agar aapki koi bhi southwest entry positive hai, that means the solution is not optimal solution. Is it clear? Yes or no? Any doubt? Right? So here, this is the entry 
which is negative this is entry which is negative this is entry which is negative 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 but this is positive agar ye bhi negative hoti tab jo aapka solution aaya tha to wo kya ho jata optimal but since this is positive jab bhi hame positive value milti thi hum usko kya karte the entering variable bana lete the and then we calculate the minimum ratio so that means this is my entering variable अब आपको थोड़ा सा ट्रिक लगानी है दैट यू हैव टू मेक अ क्लोज्ड लूप दैट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर एंड एंड एट हेयर एंड यू कैन टेक टर्न ओनली फ्रॉम द बेसिक सेल राइट बेसिक सेल मींस यहाँ पे आपकी असाइनमेंट हुई है इसका मतलब आपको यहाँ पे थिट्टा एक वेरिएबल है असाइन करना बिकॉज दिस इज माई एंट्रिंग सो यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ लूप so that it starts from this theta and end at this theta aap pass to kahin se bhi kar sakte ho but aap turn us loop ka sirf basic cell se le sakte ho is it clear main ek rough idea de rahi hu jaise suppose aap yahan pe jate kya yahan se turn le sakte ho because this is not my basic cell agar aap yahan se jate तो क्या टर्न ले सकते हो बट टर्न लेके जाते कहा अगर आप ऊपर जाते तो टर्न नहीं ले सकते नीचे जाते तो टर्न नहीं ले सकते इसका मतलब ये वाली लूप ऐसे नहीं जा रही इज इट क्लियर डायग नॉट डायग्नल सो दैट मीन्स यू कैन गो फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन टेक टर्न कैन आई टेक टर्न कैन आई टेक टर्न कैन आई टेक टर्न so you have to make a closed loop loop so that you can start from the entering variable and ends at entering variable you can take turn only from the basic cell but you can pass from any cell is it clear ye to loop bahut aasan bani hai kai bari loop can be complex wo aise banti hai theek hai so you have to start from the basic variable you can take turn only from the basic cell and you have to return it to the basic cell by passing from by passing from any cell is it clear yes or no now what will be your theta if this is theta you are assigning here agar aapne yahan theta assign kara hai to yahan to sum uska 50 bhi hona chahiye iska matlab yahan se aapko theta kya karna padega subtract karna padega Are you getting my point? Sum bhi to 50 रखना है ना फोर्टी फाइव तो असाइनमेंट है अगर आपने यहाँ थीटा वैल्यू दी तो यहाँ पे आपको माइनस करना पड़ेगा यहाँ पे आपको थीटा क्या करना पड़ेगा प्लस करना पड़ेगा और यहाँ पे क्या करना पड़ेगा माइनस इज इट क्लियर ये सर नो सो दैट वेन यू सम अप इन द रो सम अप इन द कॉलम इट शुड नॉट डिस्टर्ब द अवेलेबिलिटी एंड डिमांड आई यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ठीक है तो अगर आपने यहाँ थीटा साइन किया कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंगली आपको माइनस थीटा भी देना पड़ेगा सो दैट अवेलेबिलिटी डिस्टर्ब ना हो कॉलम में भी थीटा ऐड करना पड़ेगा सो दैट योर आपकी डिमांड भी डिस्टर्ब नहीं हो इज इट क्लियर सो नाउ व्हाट इज योर थीटा थीटा विल बी दैट फ्रॉम वेयर यू आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग द मिनिमम वैल्यू यू आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग थीटा फ्रॉम फाइव एंड यू आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग थीटा फ्रॉम 25. So what is the minimum value? Five. Is it clear? So again, you have to do assignment over here, and you have to again perform the iteration. Again, you will freshly calculate your U I and V J. so here the theta will come that means here you have the value is 5 yahan se aapka theta properly subtract ho raha hai to aap isko hata doge right zero nahi karna because for the optimal solution you should have m plus n minus 1 cell wo replace kar jata tha na basic cell ko entering variable replace karta tha basis ko to isne replace kar diya basis ko 
and here theta will be added that here it will be 15 and here 15 he likha tha and here theta will be subtracted 25 minus theta that will be your 20 now you will freshly again calculate ui and vj's for this solution now your optimal solution uh, your solution has been changed that means again you will calculate your ui and vj's so you can take u1 is equal to 0 over here basic cell this is basic cell 0 plus v1 equal to 1 this will be 1 is it clear this is also 0 plus v2 equal to 2 so v2 will be 2 and this you cannot find here from this solution u3 plus v2 is equal to 3 so it will be your 3 minus 2 that will be 1 is it clear UI and VJs you will calculate only from the basic cell by taking the relation UI plus VJ is equal to CIJ. Agar aapko aise confusion ho rahi hai to sari questions likh lena. Substitute kar lena then you can obtain the value. Here from this is 2 plus this is 1 and you can obtain the value. Here it is 1 plus V3 is equal to 2. Subtract karoge to V3 kitna jayega? 1. And this is also your basic cell, right? U2 plus V3 is equal to 2. So here U2 will be 1. Should I write the equations? Right? U2 plus V4 is equal to 5. So here it will be 3. Is it clear? Sorry, 4. So now you have calculated all your UI and VJs. What is the next task? Calculate the southwest entries for non basic cells. How you will calculate your UI plus VJ minus CIJ? So this is my non basic cell. Now, what is my known basic cell? This is my known basic cell, right? So, here what I will have? 0 plus 4 minus 4. That will be your 0. This is your known basic cell. 1 plus 1, 2. Sorry. 0 plus 1, 1 minus 3 minus 2. This is also known basic cell. This is also known basic cell 1 plus 1, 2, 2 minus 7. That will be your minus 5. Here this is also known basic cell 1 plus 2, 3, 3 minus 6 is minus 3. This is basic, this is basic. Next is 1 plus 1, 2, 2 minus 4. That will be minus 2. Here this is my basic, this is my basic. 1 plus 4, 5, 5 minus 7 is minus 2. Now all your southwest entries are less than equal to 0. If all your south entry entries are less than equal to 0, that means this solution is your optimal solution. Is it clear? So what is your optimal solution? X11 is 15. X12 is 15. X23 is 5. X24 is 45. X 3, 2 is my 15. X, 3, 3 is my 20. Is it clear? And you can find the minimum cost. That will be 1 into 15. Plus 2 into 15. Plus 5 into 2. Plus 45 into 5. Plus 15 into 3. Plus 20 into 2. Is it clear? This will be your minimum cost. The same agar ye question aapka profit ke liye hota. Pehle aap minimum me convert kar lete. Malab aap highest element ko sub me se subtract kar dete. Right? And then you can all do the calculation. 
बट जो असाइनमेंट होती है वो आप एक्चुअल प्रॉफिट से मल्टीप्लाई करते प्रॉफिट बताने के लिए मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट इज इट क्लियर ओनली दिस इज द डिफरेंस नाउ द वन थिंग ऑल्टरनेट ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन इफ देर इज अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज देयर एग्जिस्ट एनी ऑल्टरनेट ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन वहां पे आप क्या कहते थे ऑल्टरनेट ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन कब कहते थे जब आपका जेड जे माइनस सी जे किसी नॉन बेसिक वेरिएबल के लिए क्या होता था जीरो अब यहाँ पे ये आपका वेरिएबल क्या है जीरो दैट मीन्स देयर एग्जिस्ट योर ऑल्टरनेट ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन जिससे आपकी कॉस्ट तो फर्क नहीं डालेगी बट आपका सोल्यूशन चेंज हो जाएगा इज इट क्लियर अगर आपने फाइन करना होता तो क्या करते वैसे ही असाइनमेंट करते कि यहाँ पे आप क्या असाइन करते थीटा अगर इसको एंटर कराना है अब लूप कैसे बनाते बनेगी लूप तो बनेगी हेयर दिस 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 एंड दिस इज इट क्लियर नाउ इट इज नॉट सिंपल लूप यू हैव टू गो फ्रॉम हेयर सो थीटा इज गोइंग फ्रॉम देयर सो दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट थीटा फ्रॉम हेयर यू हैव टू एड थीटा ओवर हेयर You have to subtract theta over here. You have to add theta over here, and you have to subtract. And then you can take theta as the minimum of from where you are subtracting fifteen, twenty, and forty-five. So that is coming out to be fifteen. So you give it fifteen, and then you delete that assignment. Delete it. Don't make zero. Delete that assignment. Is it clear? अगर किसी दो के लिए सेम आ जाए तो किसी एक को जीरो बना देना जिसको आप जीरो बनाओगे कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंगली थीटा उसी रो में ही रखना इज इट क्लियर सो दैट यू कैन एंटर एंड देन यू कैन फ्रेशली कैलकुलेट यू आई एंड बीजेस कैलकुलेट द साउथ वेस्ट एंट्रीज एंड देन यू आर डन ओके